Hello, I'm Cameroon, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Sword of the Stars 2, where we are... Well, I think we probably have the hy oh, continue. Uh, hybrids contained, but I'm not sure that we have... I, well, I know we don't have, like, the upper hand on them at this point. But I'm hoping that uh, some additional research into armor and our... Um, uh, what was I going to say? Our uh, existing imp well, not improvements, but existing like AP rounds and uh, equipment can make us a little more competitive. Plus, we have larger fleets now. Sorry, it's been a couple days since I played, and I'm actually recapping more for myself than for you, probably. All right. So it looks like the interesting one of the interesting questions I have is do we have, or will we have, trade income? Well, we don't have any yet. But then again, I think we're only just now creating trade fleets, or trade ships. So I think... Where did we have Chambala that has a station? Yes. So... Curious, this is one of those things where I'm, I can't remember how... 8 out of 6. Well, I'm not recalling entirely how... Like, what do we... I mean, we can, we can remove that, but I don't think we... I know, it's like one of those things, right, where I should just go and, and actually look up uh, what it is that I'm trying to do, but I don't know, I have this intense desire to, uh, I don't know, to be able to understand it in-game, or figure it out from the game. So that, what's the upgrade cost for this? And do we even have a ship that can do, we do have ships that can do it. 500,000? No, it's, it's not worth it right now. We're low on money as it is, and we're to have more stuff happening, so. All right, so this is kind of, hmm. like I said, it's been a couple days, so I'm trying to remember what I was up to exactly. Um, I think we have, we have an exploration going out to Krista, I think. And we've surveyed, we checked out Caprica again, and I, we know Prion is occupied by the Hivers. In fact, that's their capital. Bismol has marginal planets and was free of Hiver influence. I guess we haven't been to Poa. No, we have. There's just nothing there. So the question is, does our sensor range cover it? It looks like it does. So I guess everything that's it's colored, right? So this is in sensor range. I guess because we have ships there. This is in sensor range. Okay, so that makes sense. The things that are dark are invisible, or not invisible, but are just outside of sensor range. The things that are um, colored are in sensor range. So that helps a lot, actually. And it means we should probably check out Marklar again. Although, like, we know when they've put gates there. I'm not sure why that is, that we have known that, unless it's just because we were transiting in and out. <clears throat> but basically, that means we don't have to worry that this has a gate or a fleet that we don't know about. Same with here, at Lambda, which also has nothing else going on. Metaluna, we should probably check. Although, that is kind of far from Prion. But we should check it, if we have a fleet to do it. Do we have, like, an inexpensive unimportant fleet. It is nearby, 
as well. No, we don't really. So what I think we should do is have Kithrip build like just I don't know, a command ship. I don't really need this. Same as the command mark two. It's just I was learning what the retrofit button does and, and wishing I had used it. Um, but anyway. Actually, we should be... What's the cost difference, really? Nothing different, really, so... We'll just keep a command mark, too, then. Projected costs for... Oh, this must be for the fleet that's actually here. So, I guess. Yeah, our income here. Like, you know, that's actually not in uh, insubstantial. Unsubstantial. Mm. Yeah, never mind. Uh, anyway, so if we build this command and we build, like... I feel like we, we don't want to have like a whole ton of these. Or sorry, a whole ton of, we just want this to be like a fast get in, get out, check. So it only has one turn of endurance. But if we added a supply ship, it has seven turns of endurance. Wow, build time six turns, huh? Construction project initiated. That's that's gonna be my like run out, check things, and and like come back kind of thing. Yeah. So it has a little six here in the corner that is hard to see, <laughs> especially I'm sure on on the uh, in, in sorry in, on the stream but in the video. I that's just yeah. Uh, oh well. I shouldn't complain about it because it's not going to change anything. Looking forward to that, although it does mean that I need will have to retrofit my designs, and of course that is going to be a little bit costly. But yeah, so we're probably going to lose money. System get out. No, we didn't. Interesting. So Krista's, eh, it's potentially habitable. Interestingly, the hivers aren't here. That really is, that surprises me. Okay, I'm just curious. Do we have any trade income now? We do. See, 27,000. So now that we have some freighters, like last time we had a freighter. Oh, that's that must be why we actually made more than I was expecting. Uh, and our, our finances here didn't didn't go the wrong direction. Well, we should build a civilian station here, too. Yes, Director. We'll begin construction immediately. And we should definitely work on upgrading our civilian waste stations so that they have... Um, wait, can we upgrade that? We can. Okay. Uh, I know we have another. Yeah, so uh, just automatic upgrade. Fine. But we want to get them to the point where they're not going to be blown up in uh, the first sign of an enemy attack fleet. <laughs> of course, that means we're going to. Oh update. my goodness. We made. How much from trade? Okay. So yeah, we definitely want to make more trade then. So we know that, of course, that that's occupied and it has, they're not going anywhere from there for quite a while. They might have a gate here at uh, Slygia, I guess that is. I mean, if I were them, I would. We don't want to go through their territory, so we're going to have to go from, like, here.
from Kithra. Yeah. I'm kind of curious, does it show the route? Yeah, so like for instance, we wouldn't want to do this because um, that would go through Prion. We could actually go from Thundara. We're not going to, but, but we could. It would be a yeah, six, six turn uh, thing. Yes, yeah. Director. We'll take down the target. Uh, there's probably not a target. You're very enthusiastic, but I don't think there's a target there. I just want to check. I guess we're going to find out as the construction fleet moves through uh, if there's anything here at Marklar. Hmm. Did we send... Yeah, we have in the past, okay. I guess we know that... Be I, it's actually easy to tell. It has a little name tag. If it doesn't have a name tag, we've never been there. Does it... F does it fade over time? No, because... So we haven't been here, and it has... Alright, so the name tag isn't exactly the right... Is it for here? I guess so. As there's this faint circle, and I guess that's the number of stations that it could support. But it's it was very distracting because it didn't look. I couldn't quite tell where that circle was. It looked more like actually a star, like like there was some, like it had the same kind of. Um, outline to say one of the stars and I was like what is that anyway moving on sorry for the <laughs> the uh, sidetrack there these episodes already kind of go slow enough with the turn speed so all right so that is our command ship so in a few turns we'll have another one and that'll be fine so yeah we lost the money again because we're doing more uh shipbuilding, I guess. Because I think you pay for the ships when they get built. A new way station has been built, Command. System and I guess we update. probably paid for this. Uh, so. This is Grayson. Um, I don't know. Huh. <laughs> I don't know, we're just gonna call it the hub. That's the nickname that it got. Okay, so there was nothing at Slygia. Well, that's good. And we have this here at Grayson. We're gonna go just build that. Um, and we should switch over to the trade view. Really? That's a different view than it was giving me before. I think. You should build a freighter. And Kithrop's going to have one soon. Should we tell it to build a freighter? Might as well, I guess. It's going to be queued up behind the other work, I suppose. But uh, when, once it gets there... Okay. Sensor range. Okay, yeah. That's all fine. I think we, we may want to look at tech that uh, increases our sensor range. Not immediately, but it would be good to know when, when uh, the hybrids System are coming. Update. Fortunately, they're slow, so as long as we keep them from getting a, a gate on one of our home planets, uh, we'll have time to respond. Three turns. Two turns? All right, well, we'll leave the finance where it is then. And we do have these freighters and other things that are coming, going to come online and get paid for, so we might as well... Uh, 
try to system avoid update. going into debt again. At least... Oh! Okay. Combat fleet. Or Rapchas. It's not a full-sized fleet, but it is... Oh, how many turns? Seven turns? All right, we might actually have time to build and move a much bigger uh, or much more potent fleet. This has... Well... Can we rebase that uh, Thundara 1 to Kithrib for this encounter? New base of operations, people. And then... Let's move. What if we change Kithrib's... Uh, planet here. What if we change this towards more construction? And then... Toss in... I command. We'll have the ships out in no time. So I think we may want to add them to the fleet instead. Like, do some swaps and put the Bismarcks in. Because the Bismarcks are the missile... The uh, giant missile. Or not giant missile, but I mean... Missile boats. And I think that could be helpful to have some of those in the, uh, in the fights. Because you can get... We'll be able to get some firepower on them before they close and given that I don't think they have point defense or at least I haven't seen super effective point defense that would that could be very helpful and possibly we'll have uh, well we might be able to do some retrofits with the Magneto Ceramic. Oh god, really? Well, we don't have anything here, so just auto-resolve. <laughs> Great. This will be fantastic. Probably gonna, like, lose the colony. Yep. Awesome. Well, fantastic. Did I... Have I ever mentioned how much I hate space monsters as a thing? I think they're just... I, I don't know why I left them on. I should have turned them off. I think the game is far more interesting when you don't ha have... That kind of bullshit come along and sorry but it's just oh frustrating and it's totally within my control i could have turned that System off and gotten update. rid of it yes the fleet's coming henja has been destroyed so we're gonna have to recolonize that i think i had just started the colonizations so wait why did i holy cow seriously did that have did they colonize it themselves, maybe? That might be. It... Climate hazard, there we go, 32. I thought I was look. I, I was... I was like... We'll get the colony on its feet, sir. Because it says development cost down here, 351, and I was like, what? But no, it's it's 320, or I mean, sorry, 32 climate hazard, so it is worth colonizing. And it's big. It's a big 8 size class... A big class size 8. Ooh! And we have this coming into your gate fleet. Yeah. Well, we're going to destroy that gate when it gets there. It's actually a well defended, and it's got two gate ships. That's going to require a uh, sizable real fleet. 
But we're going to have to let it build for the moment. Or at least we're going to need to build... Uh, uh, oh. I want to put this. I want to build a fleet to combat that specifically. So a new fleet with um, magneto ceramic, which hopefully I can do with retrofit here next turn. We can start doing this. There's a new civilian way station director. So hopefully they won't destroy this on this turn. Uh, it's real. God, I hate naming these things, and I should be so much better at it because. That's what the interesting, or one of the most interesting, not interesting, not most interesting, but, oh my god, I'm rambling. Alright, we're just going to name it. Uh, just as a reference, it's a reference to a book, or not a book, but, oh my god. You're going to, you're all going to be like, what is he, what the hell happened to him this morning? Because I do, I play these in, uh, or record a lot of these in the morning, and uh, sometimes this is what happens. Not that it should, but sometimes it does. You have a freighter. You don't have a station, so there's no point in a freighter. Freighter, freighter, freighter. I think we're good on freighters. Well, I mean, we could support more freighters in a couple places, but... Like, Grayson could have another one. And... Actually, Bob could have a, another one as well. What about Shambhala could have one? Kithrop is one freighter right now, so. And then without the station, I don't think there's any point in the freighters, so we won't do anything about places that uh, don't have civilian stations. And we will switch back to normal view. And I really had hoped this was going to be finished. Alright, so we're going to move... Uh, we're actually, can we, four turns, how long before this gets here? Five turns, well, good, we'll have, we'll actually end up with both of the Bismarcks uh, in time for that. So we can modify this uh, in fairly significant ways, because we have wasps, point defense, we even have old armors, we have Excaliburs, we're going to have more Bismarcks. So we'll be able to switch this around pretty significantly. And what I may do is take out the two point defense ships and put in two Bismarcks, because the Bismarcks do have point defense. And that would be handy. The Wasps... Uh, maybe I would switch... Maybe I should switch the two wasps out. Yeah, okay. I get it. Um, or can I just bring the two Excaliburs in and two wasps out? Because the Excaliburs are going to be more effective than the wasps. And let's just... No, not that. Um, I don't think there's... There are repairs required. Interesting. Okay. I met the fleet manager. Just uh, the command ship way here in the back, and the Bismarck. You should also be towards the back. This thing here needs to be towards the front, as does this one. I'm actually going to stagger them a little bit. Maybe I'll put them at... Like... Oh, come on. This is... Okay. Now 
see why does it do that we'll put them one above one below the the main fleet level and we'll switch back here and of course it will these are all ex the Excaliburs so just put these in however in whatever ah. All right, so now that we have them over here, where do we think, how should we do this? Maybe, not entirely sure what I want to do with this. I could do it in like sort of sectors, kind of have one in this block, one in, or two in the, in these blocks. And they'd be kind of easy to pick for pick up for flank maneuvers and stuff. But they're going to be a little bit outside of each other's support range, like across. But then if I put like put the Bismarcks back here, this would be one blocker basically to just try and soak up some of the damage on the incoming targets or from the incoming targets. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, relocated, freighters, okay, so we're good there, treasury's looking good, please finish Magneto Ceramics, I would love to re start retrofitting and maybe get some upgraded ships into some of these fights, pirate raiders, okay, well, guess we're going to lose our station at Bob as well as the, possibly the planet. Okay, or I don't know. Enough system there was, update. There was no combat, but it. Okay. Another world for humanity, Commander. Sure, call it Henja One. Wait, you're sending this survey fleet on a strike as well. What? Why would you do that? Combat fleet, four turns out. Instructor has arrived from the Dara's ready for mission. Pirate raiders. Oh, they raided your ship, my shipping. Okay. So this is like the supply and. Oh no, it's, it's the Bismarck. Okay. I didn't realize we'd actually. I should have realized, but I didn't realize we'd actually finished the other ships that we were uh, constructing. So, yeah. Could actually put these back. Well, they do have point defense, so maybe they shouldn't be super far back. Maybe we'd want to have... Uh, no, we definitely want these guys to start firing first, because I think they have point defense too, if I recall. That's our constructor headed back. All right, let's take a look at trade again because I believe Kithrip should build a freighter now. We actually already have one, that's right. We built one in, in advance. Ball is building a freighter. Grayson, I think, is building a freighter. Oh, well, actually, yeah. So we will be filling those out. Really wish we had something here at Cuthbert, but that was kind of... I mean, I I don't know. Can I just... I could probably destroy one of, the, one of them somehow, but... Oh, well. It's fine. Oh, come on. Finish Magneto Ceramics. Well, since that's the case, let's just... Drop way back. We've already completed all the funding that we're supposed to need. And I don't want to just massively overspend on it. 
I'd rather put that into the treasury. Update. Oh, come on, finish the research. I want that so much. Wait, are you sending another combat fleet right after? Looks like an old one. But it's a full fleet. Definitely going to want to destroy that gate ship when we can. As soon as we can. I just, I don't want to start building until I can get the Magnet of Ceramics. Freighters, freighters, okay. Well, we're going to wrap this episode up here. Hopefully next episode we will have uh, Magneto Ceramics and we will be retrofitting. I almost hit delete there. Uh, and um, hopefully then that will give us a better edge against the Hivers. If you enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time.